session four. Session four, we're going to look at the mid part of the drive phase. We've spoken about acceleration, we've spoken about rhythm, we've spoken about the front end of the stroke, the first part of the drive phase. Now the mid part of the drive phase. It's really important here that the athlete, that we're hanging off the blade for as long as we can. Like hanging off the bar in a playground, we're going to hang off it with nice straight arms rather than bent arms. We need to leave that blade handle alone from us for a little bit of time. If we pull on it, then we're going to waste our stroke. So we're going to leave it alone a little bit as we're pushing with our legs. Once we've initiated the drive phase with our legs, we need to open the backs up really hard to create rhythm, but also to create maximum acceleration in the water. We're looking for maximum power as the blade starts to come past the pin. So the blade will be bending a little bit, we're looking for maximum power, and that's going to happen when we open our back angle up against our leg angle. So we've got the two angles opening up at the same time with a lot of power, with a lot of hang. To do that, we often need a fairly flexible back. If we're too rigid in our back, we're going to lose some of that power. So when we create torque, if we're pushing hard against our leg, our back might well be a little bit rounded. But this is the point about speaking to the athlete about what feels comfortable and about what they need to do to create maximum acceleration, to create maximum hang off the blade. And that might be different for different athletes, and they certainly will feel a different thing. And that's why we need to talk a lot with the athlete about what they're feeling uh, and about how they feel that they can change and whether they're feeling those changes and making a go boat go quicker because of it. Let's go and have a look. The next part of the exercise is to just guide the blade handle with our hands. No pressure at all, we're just guiding the blade handle with our hands as the boat is moving because two people are rowing. And we're feeling how that blade handle comes to us. All we need to do is suspend and hang ourselves off it. The next part of the exercise is to move to 5% pressure. That pressure must come just by pushing with our legs. We're leaving the handle out there for a long time, we're hanging off it for a long time, and we're just having a little push with our legs and the blade handle comes to us. We then move to 20% pressure, again, pressure with the legs. Just 20% pressure with the legs, leave the blade handle out there for a long time, let it come to you. Move to 50% pressure with the legs, and then we move to 70% pressure with the legs, and we bring our backs in hard as well, but we're leaving the handle alone the whole time when we're just hanging, suspending our weight off it, and then we finally move to 100% pressure, where we push hard with our legs and open our back up hard and then finish the blade, uh, finish the stroke nice and strongly, but we're concentrating on leaving the handle out there and suspending our body weight from it. That will mean that the mid part of our drive phase, we have a good, uh, flexible back, we've got good power through our legs, but we're still suspending off the blade handle. Sometimes it can help to do this exercise with the feet out so that we remain connected to the boat the whole way through the drive phase.